Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. It's been a long time since Battlefield had a weapon modification system to write home about. Battlefield 5 limited players to only a few modifications. You had the ability to change your behavior of the weapon through a specialization tree, and you had the ability to modify your weapon sights. You could also change the muzzle attachment, but that was purely cosmetic. For Battlefield 1, things were actually worse, only offering players weapon presets and the ability to change some sight and scope settings. You could also decide whether or not to equip a bayonet, which I believe affected aim down sight speed. However, there hasn't been a truly immersive Battlefield weapon customization system since Battlefield Hardline, and that was back in 2015, and I gotta say, Visceral did it best, offering players incredible control over sights, reticles, other attachments, right? Uh, you could even change the appearance of camouflage to make it seem uh, more or less worn. They actually doubled down on all this with the Gunbench DLC, giving players a space to tweak everything and a practice range on which to test it all out. If you didn't play Hardline, of course, Battlefield 4, that was a standout, offering players enormous control to kit out their weapons in a way that made sense for them. And finally, it looks like Battlefield 2042 is going to be the game that will challenge those long-standing champions. Not only are attachments plentiful and purposeful, you've got the plus system, which we'll talk more about here in a minute. So, attachments in Battlefield 2042 vary from weapon to weapon, but at a glance you've got four main categories. Optics, barrel mods, underbarrel attachments, and ammo mods. For optics, of course, by default, you've got access to iron sights, but uh, you do have a wide range of choices for close to long range engagements. It appears that some sites might have more than one mode, right? We've spotted hybrid sites in previous videos. Sites impact weapon handling in Battlefield 2042, and based on what we've seen, they can change things like zoom level, target visibility, and of course, aim down sight speed. Although it doesn't look like we'll be able to mod reticles like we did in Battlefield Hardline, it's still nice to have some options again. For barrel mods, many weapons have options like suppressors, compensators, and also different barrels. These change the way the weapon handles and some of its attributes. So, for example, suppressors keep you from showing up on the minimap when firing your weapon and reduce the sound signature of your shots. Meanwhile, compensators can help with vertical or horizontal recoil. I also noticed in the example here that barrel length apparently impacts projectile velocity, which is always a huge deal for me in a Battlefield game. You can see here, though, there is a trade-off. It lowers your rate of fire. Meanwhile, underbarrel attachments might include a host of grips or other devices. We've seen a grenade launcher and a flashlight in the beta. We do know that grips impact things like accuracy while stationary, and I'd imagine that there will be a few other unique options at launch. The ammo mod slot, that gets a little bit trickier, right? Here you'll find options like extended magazines, but you'll also find things like high power rounds and armor piercing rounds, depending on the weapon. Most of the time, you'll trade ammo capacity for different abilities or additional stopping power. Seems like a fair trade-off. Uh, the ammo mod slot also is where you'll switch between buckshot and slugs for shotguns. In the beta, switching to a different ammo type was faster than reloading, so I'm anxious to see if that maybe has been tweaked a little bit for the release of Battlefield 2042. As for how you unlock the attachments, we finally got some new information on that the other day. It looks like DICE has done away with obnoxious in-game currencies to unlock weapon mods and streamline that system to reward players' skill and time spent with weapons. So instead of spending company coin, war bonds, or whatever, uh, you actually unlock attachments by completing challenges. We can see that from this little tidbit of video released by developers here. You can see to unlock the Fusion Holoscope for the M5A3, that happens after getting five kills with it. I would imagine uh, the other more complex or powerful uh, attachments probably have to do more impressive things uh, to unlock those, but it is still 
much better than uh, some kind of weird currency system. Much prefer this to some of the other systems that we've had in the past. Another thing to mention, you will be able to mod your weapon outside of combat in Battlefield 2042. As part of this process, you'll be able to set up your plus system preferences. You're probably familiar with the plus system, but if you're not, that's the new quick change system for weapon mods in Battlefield 2042. This lets you modify your gun on the fly in-game, swapping out scopes, barrels, ammo, and other attachments through a pop-up menu. I found it to be really fast, really intuitive, and it gives you the ability as a player to evolve with the changing conditions on the battlefield. Definitely one of my top new features in Battlefield 2042. It looks like plus system presets are limited to three slots per attachment type, so you will have to make sure to choose a variety of attachments to give you some combat flexibility. For example, make sure that you've got a short and long range sight in your plus optic slot so you can engage enemies in enclosed spaces and at longer ranges without finding yourself at too much of a disadvantage. Don't forget that you can customize your secondary weapon in the exact same way, plus slots and all. You also have to keep an eye on the kill cam in Battlefield 2042. That'll actually show you which weapon and attachments killed you. This can help you try different combinations with weapons, or you might be able to discover what the person at the top of the leaderboard is using to be so effective. One thing I do love about the new weapon customization system in Battlefield 2042 is that it provides actual numerical values for several stats. I've grown really tired of this really vague visual system that a lot of games are using to uh, measure things with weapons. Uh, so in 2042, you can see we've got firepower, accuracy, range, handling, uh, and they have actual values attached to them. The system shows trade-offs when swapping weapon attachments or mods, and I find that really helpful in helping to choose a weapon build that works for me or some kind of particular situation in which I find myself. Personally, I would still love to see the weapons explained just a little bit further. Having important data like projectile speed, damage drop-off, uh, bullet drop, that would also be greatly beneficial. Lastly, we do know Battlefield 2042 will include a wide variety of camouflages for weapons. There are already some available as part of special editions, though I doubt we'll be able to tweak them to the extent that we could in Hardline. Overall, the system in Battlefield 2042, I'm definitely marking that down as a huge improvement in player choice over those systems in Battlefield 5 and Battlefield 1. I am definitely excited to have some more control over how my weapon behaves in game. I also feel it's going to be an important part of player engagement, right? Uh, if you're building something, you're probably going to feel more closely connected with the game. And in, in my opinion, that normally results in a more positive experience. I am curious what you think about the weapon modification system, however. Tell me down below in the comments. Make sure you mention uh, if you enjoyed using the plus system in the beta as well. I really love that, but leave me a note down below in the video comments. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Make sure to subscribe and tap the bell for all of the latest Battlefield content. And uh, if you want to support the channel, keep your money, share this video. Gamer Advantage also running a special sale on blue light glasses through the end of the month. You can get an extra 10% off using code FLAC if you want to go check that out. Links in the video description. As always, thanks for watching.